may have experimented with SAP Graph in the past. In fact, we had an entire series exploring SAP Graph on the hands-on SAP Dev Livestream show back in 2021. Since then, there's been great progress on the initiative, and we even saw SAP Graph appear at SAP TechEd last year in November, where we learned that a new, more advanced version of SAP Graph had been integrated into API management. This week, Stephanie Llewellyn published a blog post announcing Graph in SAP Integration Suite. The Graph initiative now belongs as a capability in API management, which in turn is part of the SAP Integration Suite. That means I can just refer to it as Graph, right? Yeah, but there's more, lots more. As part of the SAP Integration Suite, it's now available as a beta program. And it also has some great new features, including a configuration UI to create business data graphs, the ability to extend the out of the box graph data model, a business data graph explorer called Graph Navigator, and also in addition to support for OData v4, there's also now support for GraphQL. Read all about these new features and the beta program and how to get involved in Stephanie's blog post. Earlier this month, I talked about a quarterly release QRC Q1. Now I would like to present you a major new feature of the bi-weekly 2023-03 release. In it, we are introducing the unification of stories and analytic applications into one single artifact based on the optimized stack in SAP Analytics Cloud. Whether you are building stories or analytic applications, you can now use the new optimized story experience, which integrates features in both stories and analytic designer. You can create customized interactions and add custom logic with a variety of widgets, functionalities and scripting capabilities. For a complete overview of all improvements, please check a blog post by a product manager, Gia Denk. 2023-03 release available for SAP Analytics Cloud Fast Track customers. For SAP Analytics Cloud quarterly release cycle, or QRC customers, this feature will be available as part of the QRC Q2. The SAP BTP SDK for iOS team shipped version 9.1 of the SDK, and here are the highlights for you. By utilizing Apple's App Attestation Service, app developers can validate that their apps are running on authentic, unordered devices and are not being impersonated by malicious entities. The SAP BTP SDK for iOS lets you quickly implement the service, thereby protecting your enterprise app and its users. And we got new Swift UI and UI kit based controls at our fingertips, such as an editable table or timeline and a beautiful empty state view. And you can utilize these new controls now for enhancing your enterprise apps today. And for our data offline, we have new optimized population of entity values, which comes with significant performance improvements and making your offline enabled apps even better and providing even better user experience. And I hope you are as excited as I am about these new features. And if you want to read more about the newest release, check out Sandeep Sitarama's blog post on blogs.sap.com. Hi everyone, and welcome to SAP Developer News. The SAP Fiori Tools 2302 release has some nice updates that will help you boost your productivity. First, the code completion for OData v4 annotations was enhanced. Second, there is now a new module as part of the Open UX tools that will help you create new artifacts, such as adding a mock server to your project. Third, there is a new integrated troubleshooting experience with guided answers for the most common errors. And fourth, there's a new multi-code feature for guided development. The number of steps required to add a feature to your project with guided development was reduced to just one. Check out the blog post by Ashley Tung in the description below to learn more about it. Are you from Bengaluru or somewhere in Karnataka region in India? SAP Inside Track Bengaluru will take place on the 4th of March, so just in two weeks. And SAP Inside Track is a local grassroots community event where the members of the community come together to share knowledge about SAP-related topics. This is an informal event organized by SAP community members, and anyone interested can participate free of charge. There will be seven parallel tracks of sessions, plus a developer space where you can get your hands dirty with the latest SAP BTP solutions. 
so i bet you find something new to learn about there.